I think this is about as exciting as it will ever get. Feekston's all peculiar on the Philips Perfect draft system. I cannot wait to give it a taste test. Excitement, that's an understatement. I'm so excited, I've already connected the tap on onto the keg, I've already had it in there. It's a bit of a mistake because I was trying to chill it down or cool it down to about seven or eight, nine, 10 degrees, sort of cellar temperature is about 10 degrees. And I left it in there too long because I was so excited. I even had a shower and a shave, got changed after work to get this in so I could give it a go. And it's gone a little bit cool for my liking. So I've left it out for a few minutes, see if it'll warm up. Now, I haven't got the benefit of a perfect draft pro. If you have, you can set the temperature on that one and you're best off putting it around 10 degrees, I should think. Maybe a little bit warmer, we'll see how we get on. I have read on the forum, a couple of people have had these kegs even earlier than I have, and they've had a bit of a problem with some frothing and foaming. I don't know if that'd be better at a higher temperature or worse at a higher temperature, who knows? But does it really matter? We get a bit of a lively one with a bit of head, just set it to one side, pour another one. You'll soon make a good one out of the two, three, four, whatever you pour, and I'm sure none of it will go to waste. Right, let's pop this in the machine, pour us ourselves a drink, and uh, hopefully we'll be giving it the thumbs up. It's in the machine then, and it's about seven degrees C. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but you know, I'll go with it for now. Um, I've got tulip glasses. They are nucleated, so if there's any carbon in there or any sort of fizz, it will sort of trap it and make it a little bit fizzy. Not the greatest for, uh, for, for bitter, really, but these are the ones I've got. Um, tulip glasses are my favorite. They're nice, you can hold them. Um, hold them at the bottom, sort of have a sip out of them, hold them around there if you want to warm it up a little bit. So. I've been told it's lively. I'll give it a pour off. We might have to use two, I don't know, or three or four. Yeah, definitely lively, look. Oh well. And it's gone down to six. See, I knew I'd left it in there too long. That one's a little bit better, it's not so bad, is it? Those two, pour them in. Oh, my goodness, it's beer, proper beer. I love lager, I love continental lagers. This perfect draft system has been superb for me. We've really enjoyed it. We've built a bar around it, you know. It, it's a great machine, I really do like it. But I do love bitter, um, and especially cask bitter. I know this isn't cask, it's in a keg, but I do love bitter. And I was toying with the idea of going the whole hog and getting a hand pull and some bag in box beers. And I still might go down that route, but then this came out and I thought, wow, I've got to give it a go. It's 5.6%, that's on the strong side for me. My bitters are like session bitters, you know, four, 4.1, two, something like that. Maybe four and a half at most. And uh, have a few, oh, I'm a volume man, you know, I'm a six or seven pints bloke, that's what I like to do. And uh, you're drinking five and a half percent, 5.6 percent, you have six or seven pints of that and uh, you certainly know about it. So uh, it could knock you sideways. It's one of those drinks that'll uh, put hairs on your chest and knock your socks off at the same time, I think. <laughs> so you never know. Right, I'll see if I can get a little bit more in here, get towards a pint. Now, these are pint glasses dead on. So I've got about two thirds of a pint there, which if I was running a pub and I was getting away with selling pints like that, I'd be more than happy. But being as it's my own little bar and I'm drinking it myself, I'd rather get it full to the top of the glass. Or if I was paying for it somewhere in a pub, I'd rather fill it to the top of the glass. Now, I've got a little straw here and I can just take the top off like that. There we go, we've got a bit of wastage, but I think that's about acceptable really. I'll put that one, uh, that one to the side, I'm, I'm sure we'll make use of that. So, here we have a pint of Theakston's Old Peculiar. Look at that, it even looks the part, doesn't it? Nice and dark. It's a porter, I haven't read the tasting notes, but it, it's a porter, it's like a, a porter stroke stout, you know, Guinness, but a lot stronger. Should be better flavours in there than the Guinness. The Guinness is quite a cold drink, isn't it? To serve it cold and the extra, the ice cold Guinness. I'm not really a fan of it. I like a bit of flavour in my, in my drinks. 
extra cold stuff fantastic in the summer nothing better than sitting outside an ice cold lager great on these machines superb you can't fault it sipping away beautiful winter time it's winter now got a hoodie on try and keep warm it's about 12 degrees in here i think and about minus two outside so try and keep a bit warm and you want your beer a bit warmer now that says six degrees but it does feel a little bit warmer than to me right enough waffle i'm gonna uh, give it a taste test i'm excited right oh it the smell it smells like beer it smells like proper bitter if you've ever you know you drink bitter in pubs on ampoules or you've brewed your own or whatever you'll know that smell straight away won't you now it might be a little bit strong for my taste buds but we'll give it a go Oh my goodness. <laughs> right. If you're a lager fan, probably not for you. Even at six degrees, right? That's malty, treacly. I don't know, like cinder toffee or bonfire toffee or whatever you get. It's dark flavours. It's dark flavours. It's dark tasting notes. Oh God, it's, it's beautiful, <laughs> it's beautiful. It needs to be warmer than six though. Um, I don't know how you can get around that hack with these machines other than sort of turning it off tonight and hopefully it'll warm up a little bit overnight if I leave the heating on in here, warm up a bit overnight and then get it to sort of about, you know, 10 degrees or whatever tomorrow and, and give it another go. Cause it is a bit, is a bit cold, but. Oh, that's nice though proper beer and as you can see the head's going down so excuse me you've got lacing on the glass which is great you know it's a quality point that's coming out of there the head's going down that's because there's no real fizz in there um you can taste a little bit of carbonation i think mm. you can feel bubbles on your tongue if you move your tongue backwards and forwards you can feel bubbles on there but it's not a high level of carbonation, hence there's nothing sort of, not as you can tell very well with this because it's so dark. Look at the colour of that. Look at it. How beautiful is it? But there's no bubbles rising from the bottom. Whereas when I've got a, another a beer in there, they're, they're most other sort of bitter type one that I do like is the Adnan's Ghost Ship. And um, you can put that in there and you do get the bubbles coming up through the bottom because that's the sort of carbonated. There was a lot of carbonation in there, whereas this one isn't. And the head is going quite quickly although saying that it's not on that one it might be more to do with the uh, chicken kebab meat chips and salad i had on the way home from work but there you go right let's have another go It'd be serious now jim yeah that's beautiful that's beautiful real beer now i've been toying with the idea of getting a perfect draft pro for a long time and i'd sort of and hard about it and i think if they're going to do more things like this then it could definitely sway me um it's not as good as cask don't get me wrong if you're in a pub and you can get that on handball that it's a better it's a better drink than that it's beautiful but it's better than you're getting bottles definitely better than bottles um it's nice oh well you can tell i'm just i'm trying to hold back here because i could just swallow i could swallow this and swallow that one and swallow off the keg it, the difference between the lagers and this is phenomenal you know phenomenal i don't know how, quite how they've done it how they've managed to get the sort of the texture right if that makes sense whereas you have a, a fizzy lager or a you know something with a bit of gas in it when this stuff it, you haven't got that certainly some carbonation in there because i can feel it when you're drinking it and feel it in your mouth but my goodness it's great i'm just going to give it a little top up like that and see what the head does look like and squeeze that in and put it in and that looks good but yeah what a drink i'm happy with that so there you go i'm uh, i'm gonna think i'm gonna cut this video <laughs> short here at that there's not a lot more i can say apart from i like it it looks good it smells good it really does and it tastes good my goodness it does i'm going to turn this machine off i'm going to try and um raise the temperature a little bit and i'll have another go at it tomorrow i might do a youtube short or i'll put something out on my um 
Instagram and, and Twitter and all that and you'll be able to see it then when it's at a higher temperature but for now I'm more than happy with that so cheers to that one give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you can I've got loads more beers on here I've got loads more to come as well I think I've ordered another six today so they're all be here soon and we'll do a taste test of each and every one of those so make sure to give me the thumbs up and subscribe like I said hit the bell as well if you want and you'll get notified of each and every video that comes out anything nice to say pop it in the comment section below in fact anything you want to say at all ask me about these beer machines other beer machines other drinking other drinks in bottles cans whatever you've got just let me know if there's anything you want me to taste test give me a shout and I'll give it a, a blast but anyway thanks for watching I really do appreciate it I'm going to finish this one off and probably a few more enjoy yourselves I'm Jimmy the Mower I'll catch you on the next one